In the last video, we talked about authentication in Active Directory. We saw how passwords are stored and how authentication work with NTLM protocol. In this video, we are going to talk about Kerberos protocol that is advanced and provides more secure than the first method that we learned. The first thing to explain in a Kerberos authentication is key distribution center, that is KDC. KDC is a component in Active Directory. So once you install Active Directory, uh, in order to work Kerberos authentication, Active Directory also have these modules, KDC. Inside KDC, there are two services, authentication service and ticket granting service. So once a client log in to a computer, it requests authentication ticket to the authentication service that is a TGT. This is known as a TGT. So once the uh, client requests TGT, the KDC, it verifies the credential, the username and password. It check whether the user is included in the database. Then when the user enter the password, it compare the hash values. Then once it is validated, the verification completed, it send back an encrypted TGT. So now what the client have client when he requests an authentication once he log in he requests a tgt then the kdc which is a part of active directory which verify his credentials and send back an encrypted tgt now the user have a encrypted tgt in his computer what client does client keep or client store this uh, tgt that it get from the authentication service and it is stored in the client computer whenever it expire Again, the uh, local session manager will request another TGT. The client machine will request another TGT. So the client will always have a valid TGT with it. So that it complete the second step in the uh, K understanding Kerberos authentication. Now the uh, third step, the client want to authenticate uh, uh, in order to access a service. So what client does, the client send the TGT that it, uh, get in the second step to the second service that is ticket granting uh, service in the Active Directory Key Distribution Center with the service principal name of the resource that the client want to access. So for example, if the client want to access uh, Microsoft Exchange uh, server in order to log in, then the client send its current TGT that it got in the previous step and also it send the service principal name of the resource uh, of the exchange server. So now the KDZ know that uh, the, the user have a valid TGT and this is the specific service that the client want, now want to access. So what the TGS does then, the TGS uh, sends a valid session key, a valid session key uh, to access to this service. Now the client computer get a valid session key from TGS and this will be forwarded in the next step this will be forwarded to the uh, server which is running this service so now the server get a session key from the client which was sent by the domain controller to the client so the server ha can validate this session key and it can validate the session key and provide access to the client uh, for the service. So what happened in the first step when the client authenticate uh, with the domain controller, it get a TGT. This TGT will be always available in the client computer whenever it expires, it requests for another TGT. Whenever it want to access a new service, it send this TGT plus the service principal name to the uh, ticket granting service inside the domain controller. The ticket granting service uh, send a valid session key uh, to the client and this client computer will forward it to the server which want to access the resource. Then server can validate the session key and give access to the resource. So that is all about how Kerberos authentication works.